I recently made a video about how to fix high ping and ping spikes in your games. Now, it's time to fix stuttering and freezes regarding your FPS. Now, in this video, I'm not going to be like those certain YouTubers that tell you to download some file that will change your registries or tell you to download some third party application because to be honest, those do not work. They can mostly be a placebo effect, which is why in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys multiple actual methods that fix freezing and stuttering. And hopefully by the end of the video, your issues are fixed. Now, to start, you want to look at your PC. The reason I say this is because 5 times out of 10, your stuttering can literally be because of a bad system. I don't mean just a cheaper PC though, I mean bottlenecking. To make this short, stuttering and freezing can be caused by bottlenecks, specifically CPU bottlenecks at least in my experience. And the only way to fix this is by making sure your GPU and CPU are balanced. The way to check this is by downloading RTSS and watching your GPU and CPU usage. If your GPU is getting close to 100%, that means it's being used at full power, which in most cases is good. But if your CPU is at 100%, that is bad. This means your CPU is not fast enough to send enough data to your GPU, so your GPU will be used less, which can cause stuttering because your system is unstable. The only true way to fix this is by buying a faster CPU. But if your CPU is not bottlenecking your system, then you can try the next methods. The next method is regarding your in-game settings. If you're getting stuttering or freezing, you should definitely turn off VSync. I'm not fully sure why VSync can cause lots of stuttering, but it does, and it's fairly annoying. With that, you should also lock your FPS. In most cases, you can get 100 FPS, but if it is fluctuating a lot, then the game will become unstable and then stutter. So in most cases, if you are playing a cinematic game, you should just lock your FPS to 60. Trust me, it can truly make a difference. Also, sometimes being in either full screen mode or borderless full screen can fix stuttering. So try both of them and hopefully one of them can help. The next method is regarding your Windows settings. Your system can be fast, but if your Windows isn't configured correctly, then it won't work at full potential. First thing is your power plan. In most situations, Windows defaults to the balanced power plan. This power plan is all right, but it attempts to cater towards power efficiency, which is not the greatest for performance because who cares about power consumption? So set this to high performance, or you can even choose ultimate performance, which requires a few more steps. Next is background apps. This is a fairly generic fix because it's obvious, but just make sure you don't have anything intensive running in the background like wallpaper engine. Those apps can add extra work to your system which will definitely cause stuttering and freezing. The last method is regarding the game's install location. Nowadays for AAA games you should not be storing them on hard drives. For indie games maybe or certain new releases you may be fine but games like Black Myth Wukong absolutely need an SSD. I attempted to play the game from a hard drive and that did not go well. It was a stuttery mess. So you should refer frame from installing intensive games on hard drives. Also, you can watch Task Manager to see if the drive in question is freezing. I've had situations where the drive itself is freezing which causes the game to freeze. So that's it. Hopefully these things actually fix your issues and you can also watch the ping related video because your ping can also cause your game to freeze. So it may not even be your system. Thank you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.